Hello, I believe you are doing well by the grace of God. Um, we thank God for granting us the opportunity to uh, go through another lecture. As we start, let us have a short prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening. We bless you for the grace, the opportunity you have given us, Lord, to be alive and to have this lecture. We pray that, Lord, you will carry us through, you grant us understanding. I commit all my students into your hands that you will help them to fully comprehend what we are about to go through. Give me the wisdom and the grace that I will be able to grant them all the necessary information that they need to have. Thank you for prayer answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. Um, so we are going to continue from where we stopped last in our last meeting. So in this one, this lecture will continue with the coding uh, CNC codes and um, we'll look at what we call programming for positioning and then some basic CNC coding. All right, so um, in our last discussion, I gave an introduction to the various codes that we have in uh, CNC machining. So in the computer numeric control, we have two major types of codes that we use. And those are the G codes and the M codes. And I explained then that the G codes are mainly the preparatory for preparatory functions. And the M code is miscellaneous functions. So here we have some common gene codes that are used in CNC programming. Some common gene codes that are used in CNC programming. Okay, so uh, we are going to explore some common gene codes. The first one, which I think I explained in the previous lecture, is G00, which is rapid positioning. But before that, in gene coding, we have some groupings. So usually the codes are grouped. So they are grouped depending on the type of function that those codes are for. So for instance, if you look at gene 00, gene 01, gene 02, and gene 03, they belong to the group 01. And gene 00, which is rapid positioning, is mainly moving the cutting tool from one point to a different position. And this time, without cutting. So we want to move very fast to the position we want the tool to get to. And that is done quickly. That is gene 00. Gene 01 is linear interpolation. Gene 02, circular interpolation. That is clockwise circular interpolation. And gene 03 is also a counterclockwise circular interpolation. So you will see that all these ones here, they are mainly a respect to movement of the cutting tool from one point to the other. So it has to either translate, it has to 
go through certain um, distance to get to where we want it to be so we group them under the zero one that is the grouping then we also have uh, the group zero six and group zero six will mainly is mainly for the unit that we are using for the machining so if you want the dimensioning to be in inches then the code is g20 and then if you want it to be in millimeters is g21 and they all belong to the 06 group radius programming radius programming is mainly used in uh, late machining and that is g24 and that one because it stands alone it doesn't have any group and then we also have the group 00, zero. and here it comprises of g28 and g29 g28 is returned to reference point and then g29 is returned from reference point and then g32 is for thread cutting g32 is for thread cutting all right um then the next group we have zero seven and zero seven group zero seven comprise of g 40 we have g 40 here it comprise of g 40 g 41 and g 42 and g 42 so g 40 is for cutter compensation cancel cutter compensation cancel and then g 41 cutter compensation left g 42 cutter compensation right so this means that if it is g40 times when we are using the cutting tool you see that the cutting tool is having a certain diameter and if you want to produce the shape that you want if you don't take the diameter of the cutting tool into consideration you may end up with the size of the uh, shape that you are producing smaller or bigger than expected so if you are programming you have to take into consideration the diameter of the cutting tool and you include it in the coding so that the machine will compensate for that so it will give some allowance to take care of the diameter of the cutting tool and if you want it to be done to the left side then we use g41 to the right side g42 and if you want to cancel the cutter diameter compensation is g40 so g40 is that so this grouping here again you see that the belong to similar functions so they are all in the group 07 then we also have the group 08 and group 08 includes g43 g44 and g49 g43 is the tool length compensation positive and then g44 
1544 two length compensation minus or negative in the negative direction then we also have the gene 49 which is a two length compensation cancels then there is gene 84 which is can't turning cycle and that is mainly done on the lathe machine we have gene 90 for absolute programming and then gene 91 for incremental programming and as i mentioned in the last lecture this absolute programming and incremental programming depends it is mainly based on the coordinate system that we are using and because they are mainly on coordinate system they are also grouped together and they are under the group zero three all right um you see some asterisks on it in the previous table and this one the one for the uh, g21 and g20 in some machines if you want to change in some machines if you want the coordinate uh, sorry if you want the units to be in inches instead of g20 we have g70 if you want it to be in metric instead of g21 instead of g21 you make it g71 and those are the codes that some machines are set uh, so that one is mainly based on the type of cnc machine that you are to use then the double asterisk refers to uh, only cnc lathe machines so those operations or those codes with double asterisk means that those codes can only be used on the lathe machine all right let's come to m codes m or miscellaneous codes are used to either turn on or off different functions which control certain machine tool operations all right so these are some um, m codes the first one is m03 which is direction of rotation in the clockwise direction then m04 which is direction of rotation in anti-clockwise so here if you have the tool or you want to drill a hole with a drill in the machine the cnc machine the cnc machine could turn clockwise or anti-clockwise all right so if you want it at that point of the operation you want it to turn the clockwise direction is m03 if it's in the anti-clockwise or counterclockwise it's m04 so for instance you are cutting a thread all right you are cutting a thread first you have to go in the clockwise direction so you go in the clockwise direction to cut now you want to retract let's say the tap that you use in cutting the thread then you have to turn it in the anti-clockwise direction to be able to retract it all right then um, we also have m06 which is to change with automatic retraction so to change here cnc at times you have done some work you want to change the tool the tool could be changed automatically or manually but to change the tool the machine will have to retract the tool out of the working position before it can be changed so the code that we use for that is the m06 and then the, to end the program we use the code m 
30. So M30 is to end the program and return to the beginning of the program. So what, as you start running the program, it goes through the various codes, through all the sequence, till it gets to the end. Then you off the program. So as you off it, then it can return to the initial position. These are some of the uh, common M codes that are available. The first one, M00, which is program stop. M02, end of program. M03, spindle start. That is forward clockwise direction. M04, spindle start reverse. This is the counterclockwise. M05 is spindle stop. M06, two change. M08, coolant on. M09, coolant off. M10, we have chuck or clamping. And that is mainly for the lathe machines. M or tennis centers, all right. And then we have M11, chuck and clamping. And then M12, tail stock spindle out. M13, tail stock spindle in. And these functions here, from M10 to M13, are mainly for lake machines. Then M17, two post rotation normal. That is for lake too. And then M18, two post rotation reverse. Also for late. Then M30 is end of tape and rewind. M98 is transferred to SAP program. And then M99, end of SAP program. In CNC informations are generally programmed in blocks of five words. If five complete words are not included in each block, the machine control unit will not recognize the information. Therefore, the control unit will not be activated. So here, if you have in the codes there's, there are certain information that should be in the codes and the various lines in the coding is what we call the blocks All right so in each block you should have these informations there the an example of a block is this diagram we are having here first we have here the sequence number so in the coding any number or any word that you see having n at the beginning is the sequence number that's the sequence number all right so for instance if you have n 001 it represents the sequence number of the operation which means that is the one the first sequence number of the operation g01 represents linear interpolation as we have seen earlier x12 means that you want to move the table 12 millimeters in the positive direction along the x axis y6 will move the table six millimeters along the y axis and um, m03 means that the spindle is on clockwise so you will have this in one block like this n01 
g01 x12 y6 and then you will have m3 m03 and each of these are what we call word so we have the sequence number is a word the preparatory function is a word dimension along x is a word dimension along y is a word and then any miscellaneous function that are there to will be a word there are other uh, words that have to be or may be included depending on the type of work that you are doing and here for instance you need to determine the feed rate of the machine so the feed rate usually is f so you have to put f as part of the word f and then you put the value then we also have the speed the speed of the spindle the spindle speed is also a word a complete one which you need to add so if you want to put the spindle speed also in it that would be s that is a symbol s then you add the value or the magnitude of the speed that you want to put and then you may have other things like r for instance if you want to cut something like a, a curve or a c or a circle you need to indicate the radius of it so that r will give us the radius so if you want to add it as a wedge to the block that will be r then you put the value or the radius then there may be other things like the tool change you want to change the tool you want to put on the coolant and other things so many other code that we have looked at you will have to also indicate to in order for you to activate it in the in the um, program all right program for positioning before starting to program a job it is important to become familiar with the part to be produced from the engineering drawings the programmer should be capable of planning the machining sequence required to produce the part so before you start any work you have to familiarize yourself with the part that you want to produce so when you are doing that you have to read the engineering drawing of it and when you are able to understand the engineering drawing, you should be able to program you should be able to plan the machining sequence required to produce the part so what are the sequence of operations that you have to go through in order to produce that part even the size of the um, material that you are going to use that is the size of the workpiece have to be considered and then you look at the various sequence that you will go through to produce it and then you also have to do visual concepts in written manuscript as the first step in developing a part program it is the part program that will be sent to the machine control unit by the computer by the tape hard disk or pen drive or whatever or input media so here you need to um, that visual concept which you are having you should be able to put it into a written manuscript and that manuscript is mainly the programming which you are going to put the, the coding the CNC coding that will be the gene code and the M codes the programmer must first establish a reference point for aligning the workpiece and the machine tool for programming purposes so first of all as you are going to machine that part you first have to establish the reference point where are you starting from and that will inform where how the the workpiece will position the work table is position with respect to the the tool the cutting tool and then when we are finished all that before the machine machining can be done 
because if if that is not done well you just place it in there without setting the origin of the cutting you will end up destroying the workpiece the also the manuscript must include this along with the types of cutting tools and where coding devices required and where they are to be located so you also have to take into, do that into consideration what will be the uh, cutting tools that will be required in a typical work you may not use only one cutting tool we have to use different cutting tools let's assume that you want to drill a hole and uh, from what we have learned earlier that if you want to drill a very large hole let's say of diameter uh, 200 millimeters you can just start at once and draw that in a metal you have to start by first drilling a smaller one then you can enlarge it to that size so drilling a smaller one here is by using a drill bit say you start with a drill bit of say 10 millimeters you increase it to 30 then like that so you need to have all these cutting tools in place so that when it's time for the tool to be changed it can easily be done and then the type of uh, device work holding devices what you are going to use to hold the work depending on how complex the shape you are going to produce is and they need some um, specific devices oh. or vices that you use to hold the work and they all those things have to be in place all right so let's look at a summary of the procedure that you go through in order to produce a machined part so first the working drawing is there and as the engineer or the machinist you will have to take that drawing you read it and understand what is there now when you have an understanding of what is there that visual thing that you have you have to put it into a written manuscript so now you are going to generate codes for this part that is here so you write the code down then after producing the code you input that uh, programmed code into the cnc machine then you run it and machine the part and then the part is produced as we have here in our next lecture we are going to look at some basic uh, coding where we we'll come up with uh, a shape or a figure that we want to machine we want to produce a, sh a certain shape then we'll produce the cnc coding for it thank you very much um if you have any question you can post it. Thank you. God bless you.